Hey YouTube, this is Carson's XDM45 here, and I want to try to make a short little video today on cleaning your uh, your Dillon Square Deal B. Uh, what you should do uh, to clean it to avoid problems with binding up, not working right. Uh, I use mine extensively. I've got one here for 45. I've got it set up for 45, and I cleaned it the other day. So we're going to look. This is the one I I do for the nine millimeter, and of course you see my bends behind here. The nine millimeter and the 45 brass, and then I got uh, that's it was about 7,000 rounds when it was full. That bend holds about 5,000 rounds of when it was full. And as you can look down through there, I've got about 900 rounds of uh, nine millimeter and about 1,300 rounds of 45. So I use this a lot, and you know you got cast bullets. Okay, the three things that you want, there's three areas that we want to uh, we want to try to clean. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in here. First area we want to clean is we want to try to clean the uh, the tool head area. Okay, and it, we're going to take the tool head off and show you what you need to do on there. The second area that we need to clean is down here where the shell plate is. Uh, the shell plate spins around, you get a bunch of junk and, and spilt powder and everything in there. So we want to clean that also. And then the third thing that we want to, third place we want to clean is the, uh, you got this, this primer tube and see if I can show you uh, this area right in here. That's the, uh, the primer mechanism. It's got the uh, primer bar down the bottom. So those are three big areas that you want to try to clean, okay? Um, I, okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to take the, uh, the powder measure. I'm going to take that off and we're going to, take, we're going to clean out this, uh, the tool head area. Okay. First thing we want to do is, is this uh, this rod here. We're going to take this clip. We want to pull this clip out, and then basically this rod it just it just pulls out. Okay. And then if you look right here, let's see if I can zoom in there. I need this little Allen wrench, and you're going to take this screw loose, and this whole this whole uh, uh, piece right here, this whole piece right here, it just comes out. Okay. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take those loose and continue. Okay, we got the powder measure off. Just wanted to try to get it where you can see uh, this piece right here fits. So I can zoom in here. It fits right in here when it's on top of the. There we go. It fits right in like that. Okay, and you're going to take the screw out. It'll come off. You've already taken the the pin off that rod, and then what? Then this is what the tool head, top of the tool head looks like. Let's see if I can get here. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have a screw here, here. You have these four screws: one, two, three, four. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna un unscrew those, take them off. What I'll do is I'll set them on the, on my bench uh, in the same, you know, orientation. In other words, the one on the left, it'll be on the left. The one on the bottom, be on the bottom. Because um, a couple of the screws I think are a little bit longer. Anyway, just my OCD I guess I want to make sure that they go back in the same uh, hole that I took them out of so let's do that okay we got the screws out of the tool head and and basically what you do is you just pick the tool head straight up take it off of there uh, just a little note here this screw right here uh, the reason I didn't take that off what would you you loosen this and this allows you to make an adjustment here you can adjust it up and you can you see the threads there you can adjust it up and down and that will increase or decrease the bell on your shell uh, when it deposits the, uh, the powder. I've already got that set. It's not necessary to take that screw loose. So I've taken the screws off and we're just going to lift, lift it out. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now see, underneath my pinky right here, that's one of the dies. The other two dies, the other two dies there, you can set this aside. The other two dies. That's your that's your die that does the crimp, and down here is where it actually decaps it and reforms uh, the brass. And what you can do is you can go back through here, and from the bottom, see if I can. Oh, that's stuck in there pretty good. You can see it moving a little bit. But I'll take these out. I'll push them out, and then I'll take all of this and I'll put it in my. I've got a uh, I've got a little parts washer here, a little solvent based parts washer. And I'll wash everything off and clean everything up. And then what we'll do is we'll put it all back together. Uh, make sure that you put the right dies in the right hole and make sure that they're right side up. 
Don't take them out and flip them upside down and try to put them back in. But that's what we'll do. We'll clean it all up and then make sure the dies go in the right ones the right way. Put the tool head. Here's what the here's the tool head right here. See so you got a you got some some junk in there. That's uh that's one of the dies there. Also what what you have here see that that thing moving right there that's that's actually the powder powder funnel you don't you know take that out of the top and wash it off make sure you dry all this stuff too and uh, and then make sure I, I wash it with solvent I don't worry that much about corrosion and rust but it doesn't hurt to wipe them down with with something made with a little bit of oil on them so we're gonna wash them all off put it all back together just reverse the process all right here's the second part I'm gonna use my flashlight so we can get a little bit better better lighting but that's the you see the three screws there the two on the bottom and you've got the white primer slide and then you've got the 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 one on the right we're going to take those three screws out and basically that piece it just it just comes sliding out towards you so that's what's next okay we've got the priming system off it's pretty simple a uh, couple things you need to check on is you know a little plastic uh, little fitting right here and what that does let's see if I can zoom in a little bit what that does is, is the, pr the primers are all stacked on top of each other and then they'll, the, the primer will be the, those little plastic wings or arms or whatever those tips they'll hold the primer in place and during the downswing this slide here this slide will be pulled that way and, the, and this primer cup will push that push that white pin out of the way a primer will fall on top of the, inside this cup with the upswing, the, the slide comes back forward, and then it's and then that primer is pressed, or I should say, the the way the mechanism works is the primer is held in place, and the actual brass is pressed down on top of the primer. And that's how it primes it. What happens if this all gets dirty and all gunked up? You'll have primers that'll get that that kind of get stuck up in here. They get stuck here. Uh, you let them fall out, and and what'll happen is is these little plastic little plastic uh, arms, whatever you want to call them, uh, these things will get bent out of shape. Sometimes that plastic pin won't return back where it's supposed to be um, because it's dirty. And then all your problems will fall out into the mechanism, and then you got a problem. And of course, you see how, where's my, there it is. You see how dirty and nasty some of this stuff gets. So uh, basically, I don't take any of this apart on uh, normal cleaning. Uh, I'll just take it over to the parts washer and I'll scrub everything I can scrub and get it all clean and everything. Uh, one thing that you want to back out a little bit. Uh, one thing that you want to do that 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 ring that uh, bearing right there. Uh, once you're done cleaning it, put you a, a little drop of oil on it on both on the inside, kind of spin it, and on the outside because that runs up against a a ramp on the inside of the housing of the press. And if that's dry, it's going to make it really rough when you're on the downstroke and the upstroke, uh, and it could cause you some problems. So we're going to clean this up. I mean, it's really easy to clean up. Uh, I'm going to uh, wash it down with my the, my parts washer, scrub it out, and everything. And then what I do is I always end up using my air compressor with uh, with an air fitting, and I'll blow everything out dry, and uh, we'll get that done. Okay, we've got the priming system put back in. Now we're going to take and clean around the shell plate. Okay, so there's there's things you want to take off. You want to take this little wire off. Okay, it's basically it's just stuck in that hole, and this is the this is the wire that kicks the shell out uh, when it's done. Okay, and then you got the you got the three uh, locator buttons. You want to take those off, and then you're going to use your Allen wrench and that sit, that screw right there in the middle. You'll unscrew it until you can reach in there with your fingers and unloosen it. So and by the way, just a little little tip, because I got this nine millimeter. Okay, we've got the shell plate off. As you can tell it all, it is pretty nasty and gunked up in there. One thing that you really need to be careful of, this is probably the most tricky part trickiest part, is you can see right there, that's a little ball bearing. It's a little ball bearing, there's a spring underneath it. When you take this shell plate off, get out here, when you take that shell plate off, you make sure that you uh, you take it off very gently. In fact, if you pull the handle down, if you'll pull the handle down, all right, see how that brings it up? You pull the handle down, you'll bring it up, and that shell plate will come off real easy, okay? Uh, you just, I'm just going to, you say, how do you clean the shell plate? Um, 
these these grooves his grooves where the where the rim of the bullet make sure you get a piece of wire and clean inside there and just scrub it down and just you know with a solvent whatever blow it off make sure it's clean uh, again these grooves where the shells fit in there you want to make sure that those are clean rub off the back then what I'll do I've got a I've got a, a magnetic screwdriver and I'll stick it in there and I'll capture the little ball and spring and I'll take them out and then I've got a, a bottle of a brake cleaner and basically I'll just kind of spray a little bit of brake cleaner in there alright scrub it with a toothbrush and then get my air nozzle and I'll blow it all out make sure it's all clean uh, one thing about it you want to, these screws here you see the screw here screw back in there just put your uh, your allen wrench in there and just make sure that they're snug make sure that they haven't come loose or anything they shouldn't but just check on them okay so let's get this thing cleaned up and put back together and basically you just I mean it's not hard uh, once you got it clean uh, again that little that little ball there's a little bitty uh, spring underneath it once you get everything clean uh, I'll, I'll usually wipe that ball off with a towel or something put the spring in there put the ball in there and very gently very gently you want to put this shell plate so just set it down on top of it and once you get it in place and then put the screw back in the pl back in there and, and screw it all back together and put it back together okay got the parts out just wanted to kind of show you uh, everything is clean but I want to show you just how small that the little spring in the uh, and the little ball bearing there's a dime right there so you can tell how small they are um, I've got all the, the parts cleaned out and we're going to put them back in there swing right over here you can see it's all clean of course there's the hole right there you put, just drop the spring down in there and then you put the uh, the ball bearing on top of it okay and it just rests inside of the hole pull the handle down so that you'll clear the the primer slide you'll put the shell plate directly on top of it don't shift it don't move it because you don't want that little ball falling in one of them other holes just put it down through there and then put the screw in the middle and hand start it and then you're good and just you know tighten it down put your locator screws back in there put your wire on there and you should be good to go okay it's all back together We've got the shell plate and all that put together uh, just a couple couple things here what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll put a little drop of oil right here on all, all four corners where that uh, that plastic thing is before I put the shell plate on I took a couple drops of oil and put them on the bottom of the shell plate and smeared it all over the bottom of the shell plate and set it on there. Okay. Um, one thing you need to remember about these machines is these screws are being screwed into aluminum. So you don't need to put a torque wrench on these things and, and really put some pressure on them. Uh, just snug them down. Okay. Because again, you're, um, you're screwing into the aluminum uh, if you're going to end up messing it up. And one more thing this is a Dillon okay it's a lifetime warranty both of these presses I got in a trade and I found out something that you, know, you can take these presses and you can get Dylan to refurbish them for you it's a lifetime that's what I did with my 45 press I was having some trouble with it several years ago I found a box I paid the shipping I shipped it back to Dylan they went through it they replaced everything that needed to be replaced as far as like the plastic components and the parts and everything shipped it back to me on their dime did not cost me a thing I've had both of these presses for well over 10 years I've had the 45 press for over 15 years and these things are still working so uh, keep them clean clean those areas and they'll give you years of service and it'll help you to be able to reload a lot of ammo. Thanks for watching.